welcome back to my channel beautiful people of god welcome back to la vida see for those of you guys who are new i give you a huge warm hug and i welcome you to my channel you are going to enjoy the ride with us today this is the third video of our month of love the month of february the month of my birthday which is next week by the way exactly well, not really exactly from the time that you guys will be seeing this video, but exactly one week from when I'm recording this video um, will be my birthday. Um, so this is our third video in relation to, you know, love, relationships, blah, 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 all those type of stuff because it's February, it's the month of love, you know, we got to talk about things so let's get right into this week's video so today i will be sharing with you guys a little bit of an intimate information about myself that you guys are not aware of yet like you've you're aware of like certain things about you know my relationship because i've talked about my past relationships before but not what i'm sharing today today i am sharing with you guys okay last week i talked about how to you know to know um who is the like who's the right person how do you know the right person for yourself well today i am sharing with you guys the point where you pass the point of being with the right with the wrong person not only are you with them but you're this close to spending the rest of your life with them um so i'm sharing with you guys as you can see in the title of this video my experience of being engaged at the age of 20 yeah i was 20 years old um to the wrong person i was engaged to the wrong man and i already knew at that point listen if i get married i'm getting married and that's it because I, I actually do have the mindset that you know if you choose to get married to a person it's do or die because that's what the word of god says unless you know special special circumstances but it's do or, do or die it's marriage for life so in 2018 or no at the end of 2017 december 2017 um i was proposed to by one of the um one of the people that i was with i was proposed to by the person that i was with at the time and the thing is i was already living in sin with that person and we were living together we were basically living like a married a married couple at the time already so the person proposed and at the time you know like my for my heart i had envisioned my future with that person and my life with that person so I said yes. I will put I will put um some pictures if I can find for you guys on the screen so that you can see um some pictures not of the person because of privacy um but of myself and the ring on if I can find any because I know that I went on a deleting rage or rampage after our separation, our breakup. So it's possible i might not find anything but i would do my best to you know I mean, snapchat probably got my back to be honest um so the person proposed but everything that i spoke to that i referred to like almost everything that i referred to in the last video that i did um the one i found my soulmate and all of those red flags majority of those red flags were in that relationship before we got to a point of him proposing and me accepting the proposal so yeah that i found myself in that situation you know engaged obviously at the time you know i wasn't i was living my 
best life of sin so i thought you know this was it like this was it like i'm i've been proposed to we're gonna get married we're gonna live our life together and yeah 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 you know jesus is gonna forgive us for all the sins that we've committed you know just living in sin living together as if we're married just you know breaking the the commandments of god like just guilt after like conviction after yeah look so yeah you know what now that we're engaged still living together um you know things are better like i mean we're like we're getting closer to god kind of thing you know we're we're getting closer to the point where we'll be legal we'll be legal in the eyes of god soon so that's where i was so but how did i get out of how did i get out of that situation how did i escape being tied to the wrong marriage for my destiny and for my purpose because as i told as i kind of referred to in the last video a lot of the reason why i was with that person had first had to do with the flesh it first had to do a, a lot with the flesh um attraction just sweet words you know things things that were not necessarily of substance and compromise huge 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 levels of compromise is but in the things of god whether it was with sex whether it was with attending church what like a lot of compromise like a lot a lot of compromise so that you know i could be with that person because I knew I didn't like necessarily have somebody guiding me, but I knew that the things I was doing they were not good in the eyes of God. But I still compromised the word of God over that relationship. So um, a lot of things, those things were present, and by the grace of God, I got pulled out before I got deep. Before I could get to a point of marriage, like actually, like getting the blessing of marriage spoken over me with this person and becoming a wife to this person god put an end to it and this is this is what's the most important part of me sharing this with you guys is how did i get out because me myself i wasn't you know i was yes the person had if done some things that started to do some some things to me that you know my heart was like already like how but I was just like, okay, like, you know, if you're going to get married to somebody, aren't you supposed to accept some, you know, negative things too? I was literally, like, I was compromising my heart. I was blowing my standards. I was already doing all of that. But by the grace of God, somebody in my family, somebody very important, precious to me, who I respected, um, I reached out to them to let them know that, listen, I... I'm engaged. I I'm engaged. I'm gonna be getting married to this this person. So I just wanted to let you know. I just wanted you to hear, you know, the news from my mouth and not from anybody else. And the person told me, the family member told me, okay, well, you're already engaged, so there's nothing I can do about that. They said there's nothing I can do about it. It's like it's, I can't change anything for the with the fact that you've already you're already engaged. You already said yes. So the only thing I can say, this is the person with the only thing I can say, is I pray to God. Listen very carefully. I pray to God that um, if this relationship is going to be an issue for you, or it's going to cause you any type of pain whether it is three months from now or 10 years from now that he will not allow it to happen god will not allow it to happen and i remember that i spoke to this person in the morning like maybe 10 a.m by 4 p.m because i remember that day i had class okay i remember that day i was going to class i was going to school i was still in university my third year of university by 4 p.m i got into an argument with the person that i was with that i was engaged to i got into an argument with him and he threatened to do something to me that i always always repeat it's like it's like it, it, it was like a song in our relationship because i was always singing it i always repeated 
this is the thing one thing i will never ever tolerate except from a man and he he threatened to do that thing to me and I, I i have to let you guys know that in that moment i was terrified in the inside but you know my little small self um you know five four like five foot four looking up to this person inside i'm scared but you know trying to look tough i was just like what 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 you gonna do what and it's not late it's it didn't start kicking into me and i i i think that happened and then it started kicking into me afterwards like look elsie you've accepted this you've accepted this you've tolerated this you've gone through this pain you've accepted the person for that you've accepted that but this is the thing you said you would never accept and what are the coincidences that the same day that you had a word spoken over your life concerning this this union that if it's going to cause you pain whether three months from now or 10 years from now that god won't allow it to happen so it became clear to me that this was a sign that this was not for me i had to cut it because i had the opportunity to cut it now because it'll be harder for me as somebody who yes i did believe in god and with my family too who believe in god and to decide okay well, I, i'm married to a person we're gonna what, be married for six months one year and then i'm gonna cut it no let's cut it now so by god's grace the important thing here is that i had somebody to speak into my life i had somebody with the authority and somebody who was able to speak life into my life, to speak the will of God into my life. Um, so I want to. So, so the thing that I want you guys to pull from this my experience that I'm sharing with you guys right now is, if you are in a relationship, um, make sure you have somebody with wisdom with knowledge and who who has a tune you know into the things of god who can tune and do the things of god whose 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 ears are inclined to listen to the to listen to the voice of god to speak over you somebody you can go to for advice even in my case it's not like i even went for advice but god used the person to speak through me over me anyways but if you have somebody who's guiding you um and obviously don't it's not anybody that you allow to speak over your life excuse me it's not anybody you allow to speak over your life but if you have somebody whether it is a spiritual parent a spiritual father a spiritual mother um, a mentor anyone who has the best interest for you in heart and in mind somebody who's not looking to satisfy themselves but is looking for your happiness is looking for the achievement of your destiny somebody who genuinely loves and cares about you who can speak a word of life over you who has that authority to speak the word of life over you and that god will listen to it you want to have somebody surrounding you that when they speak it actually makes impact in your life I'm talking about positive impact, not, you know, negative stuff. So that's what saved me from that relationship, from making that error, from tying myself to the wrong destiny partner, to the wrong person for my life. And I am forever grateful for that person. Um, I am like, it still shook me, shake me to this day how God did that because I never... I never would have thought it would have happened that way. But God did what he had to do to get me out of there and align me to his will and to his purpose. And I'm grateful. And I hope that you guys learned something from, from me sharing this with you. And yeah, so that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. If you have any questions um, that you know you would like me to answer further regarding this, feel free to um drop 
any questions in the comment section if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe because more 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 videos are coming your way in this year of 2020 greatness is coming okay greatness is coming and last but not least share this video because sharing is caring i will see you guys in my next video okay thank you guys for watching i love you Mwah.